afternoon tonight, two local universities, you uh, know them well perhaps, announcing their new budgets for next year. And although they were impacted by inflation, new rate is locked in for students for the next four years. 13 Action News reporter Brennan I gives us the rundown. The University of Toledo and Bowling Green State University both released their new fiscal budget today, which they had to adjust due to inflation. That adds up to a price hike for students. Both BG and UT will increase tuition beginning this fall. BGSU's Board of Trustees approved a 1.15 increase in undergraduate instructional and general fees for in-state students. That's $25.50 per credit hour. The board also voted not to increase the out-of-state surcharge for undergraduate and graduate instruction fees. As for the University of Toledo, its Board of Trustees approved tuition increases totaling about 3% for undergraduates and 2% for grad students. That amount could change as the state has not yet approved the budget, but president of UT Greg Postal says the university will adopt the highest percentage rate allowable. The budget that we passed uh, has adequate funding to support our programs, to support our medical school, our hospital, our research programs, and uh, you know I, th I think we're I think we're in a pretty good place for next year. He says the rate affects incoming freshmen only. Students already enrolled will not have to pay the increase as they are already locked into the rate they received their freshman year. The president of BGSU, Rodney Rogers, says it's important to be transparent with the cost of college. I think families appreciate the fact that they can um, plan and they know exactly what that fee, that tuition, the room and board will be for those next four years. Both university presidents tell me this increases because of recent inflation, but they also don't expect the number of students to go down as enrollment is up. Yeah, so we believe that the first year class coming in is going to be larger than the first year class that came in last year. So we're excited about that. We're very, very pleased to see yet another increase in, uh, we believe we will see an increase in our first year students. Uh, last year, we saw about a 7% increase in our first year uh, full-time students. We think we're going to be a little bit above that for this fall, it appears. And so those new students can expect to pay more for college than those who are already enrolled. This new tuition rate will be locked in for incoming students at both universities for their four years of instruction. Brennan and I, 13 Action News.